Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Hey, we are back and I am going to finish this series on landscape paintings. Putting in a little area where there might be some clouds, kind of low hanging clouds. It's a beautiful day. And there's blue in the sky. You know, as you get later in the season, the ocean is beautiful. I love September and October at the ocean. I need a little more turquoise. I want a little more turquoise in my sky. When we started there, I'm going to let that dry. When we started in the first series, which I'll link that other one, we, we put in, just started with some play. I'm just putting in some rolling surf right now. It's a very loose painting. I hope you'll paint with me. Get your palette knife or your brushes out, whatever you like to paint with. Some rocks over here. I need a little more of this light underneath that sand. I love a thick built up paint and even though this is play I still I still enjoy building up the paint that's why I'm just using what I have so we'll work a bit in the clouds and I do have some burnt umber on there I will that will give it some gray this might be the darkest portion of the cloud here when you mix that with your ultramarine You'll get a beautiful gray. Which the bottom of the clouds present. I'm going to scrape back a little bit of that. And bring my cloud a little higher. I think I need a little more light on my palette. Oh, it's a messy process. You know, life, life is a messy process. If you're afraid of getting messy, I don't think it's going to work for you. I mean, I can't do it. Personally, I cannot do this without getting messy. Because it's just the way I paint. My, I remember my first, in my first um, painting experiences, uh, Mom gave me in... Uh, she called it nursery school at that time. Mom gave me a big shirt to put on. And it was a button-up shirt. I guess it was my dad's shirt. And uh, we would, at school, we would put our shirts on. And, and we would be able to paint with these shirts on. I'm just putting in an idea of a cloud with this. We'll, we'll do some more with that in a bit. And what I want to use, and I saw Amanda Hilburn use this. This is an excellent idea if you have a round palette knife. Get your white. While you don't put it all over, you know, those clouds... I tend to be kind of stiff with my clouds and I'm I'm practicing them to get over it the stiffness cuz you know clouds are puffy and light okay we're going to leave this oops my palette knife got into the brown well, I'm glad you saw see that because what I'm going to do is scrape this back. I'm going to take, scrape this all off. Just 
right over it. See so your blue comes through. And the clouds are not all one color. I mean, you might see pinks, you might see yellows. I'm just doing this painting in um, more of the blue tones, but because it's like midday and it's a beautiful sunny day. That's the other thing. If your life doesn't give you what you need, you can paint it to be what you need it to be. You know, it's not, obviously it's not reality, but you can make your life better through painting. These are huge thunderhead clouds. And maybe they even meet at some place. Too much white down here. And I go back and forth with this. You know, that's what you see is the, the blue in the sky and the thunderheads. Now we like to work in design element. It, uh, it's always better to have thirds. So I'm going to put a little, little cloud over here too. It's a lower cloud. Um, not finished with these, but we are going to get our third in there. Okay, it's a smaller one. And I need a little more gray for the bottom of my cloud because... You know, a cloud is not white all the way through. You know, wipe that off. Let's see how we're looking here. We've got a ways to go, but it's it's starting. I think what I'm going to do is leave our clouds. I'll put one more little white as I was going to finish. I'm sorry, my palette got off. Got off camera again. It's hard to keep everything in frame when I'm close up. And I'm just going to let this guy dry a little. Some gray underneath. And have a reflection of the water. 